Hey guys, Lip Peddler back with another video. Today we're going to be comparing expensive jerseys to moderately priced or cheap jerseys. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So in terms of the expensive jersey, we're looking at the Elevate SS jersey made by Core in partnership with Giant and this retails for 199 USD. So pretty expensive for a jersey. And then the second jersey, which is like the moderate expensive jersey is the Sunweb team jersey. I think I got this for around 100 USD. So not that bad, pretty, pretty good quality. And then we're looking at a Chinese jersey that I have, which I think retails for around 30 USD if I'm not mistaken. And this is the cheap jersey. So we're gonna do a quick comparison between all of them and see what you really get in terms of key differences. So we're gonna start with the most expensive one because it makes sense to have a benchmark of what you get for premium. So right off the bat, in terms of the construction, uh, you can always feel by texture and just based on how it's made in terms of ventilation, how good the quality is gonna be. So this one, even though it's black, in terms of how they created the ventilation, it's very nice, very premium looking in terms of how it wicks away the sweat. And you can see on the arms that they use a different meshing material because on your arms, it gets kind of chilly sometimes when you're descending, but at the core, that's where it really heats up. So it's really nice that they have a difference in terms of material, especially on the back, just based on how they paneled, layered it, the panels have different uh, thickness and in terms of how it's gonna wick away sweat is gonna be acting different. Now, in terms of the pockets, the pockets are just standard, really nice. Nothing, nothing crazy fancy here. It has a little reflective rear on it, which I don't know if you get on the other jerseys, but all in all, a pretty high quality jersey. I do like how this one, when you sit on me, even though it doesn't have any rubber in terms of the cuffs around the arms, it still does a good job at holding the shape of your arms. So I really do like this jersey. I like the fit, overall fit, overall premium quality that you get. Also like the little touch of the giant logo here on the side. So it's really nice looking, um, but I'll give you guys my overall thoughts if you need to spend this much on a jersey. Now the next jersey we have is the moderately expensive jersey, which I said retails for 100 USD. And let's see what features you get on this. So in terms of the panels, you don't see that much technology going on in terms of how it wicks away the sweat. So right now I can already tell this one you're gonna be a lot hotter in when compared to this one. This one is gonna wick away the sweat a lot easier. So in terms of just the material that they chose in different paneling in terms of the sides, the back, the arms, I don't really see that much going on. I see a little bit different in terms of the arm versus uh, the chest area, but nothing that I would say is amazing. Um, now in terms of the rubber, I almost, I almost forgot to talk about that guys. So it's really important near the back of the jersey you'll always have the jersey sometimes ride up or fall down. And that's why they add this little rubber uh, part to make sure that the jersey doesn't slide on you. Now, I forgot to mention that on the premium one, let's see what you get. So you can see in terms of it holding the jersey and not making sure that it doesn't move, this one has a specific pattern that's pretty textured, or this one is just a standard one that just has a strip going across it. So I think this one is gonna hold up a lot better. But this one will get the job done. In terms of the arm cuffs, I do like this material a little bit better, uh, but then again, uh, it doesn't have any of the rubber. I don't think they really do that anymore on the sleeves. I don't think they really did it ever on the sleeves. It's usually only on, sometimes they do it on cycling bibs around the, the thighs, but uh, yeah, you don't see that on either one. So I do find it really comfortable. Uh, it's just really important that they make it form fitting because on the cheap one that we're gonna look at, you don't get any form fitting right there. So I think it's like more tapered on these ones in terms of the arm cuffs. Now taking a look at the cheap jersey, this retails for 30 USD. So pretty cheap but one thing I forgot to mention is in terms of the zipper quality this one is just a lot higher quality on the higher quality one this zipper is also decent as well uh, in terms of the material and how it's built I think it's just overall important these little things because they add up in terms of the overall performance of the jersey now this one is just really cheap nothing nothing fancy or nothing nice uh, not bad this is actually the best uh, Chinese jersey I, I ever got so that's why I ended up keeping it I threw out a lot of the other ones because they were just so terrible so in terms of material you're not really getting anything different in terms of the panels they're all just the same material so in terms of it wicking away sweat it's not going to do the best job now this jersey isn't terrible but it's nothing that I would say super comfortable it just feels baggy it feels loose it doesn't feel form-fitting and especially when you're riding you want something that's going to make you feel good look good perform good and this is something that you just don't get on this jersey. It just makes it baggy. It gets the job done. It's a jersey. It's not like you're not going to have a jersey, but I just don't really want to ride with it anymore just because it doesn't make me feel good while I'm on the bike. And I think that's the one thing that's super important about jerseys where on bibs is more performance. Jerseys are too. If you have something that's like flopping in the wind, uh, it's going to get annoying over time, especially in terms of aesthetics. You want something that's going to be uh, really good aesthetically because if you feel good, if you look good, you'll perform good. Now I know that's kind of vain, but in reality, from my experience, I feel like when I have good gear that's presentable, that I like, that I'm proud of, I actually perform better than, I'm not saying by any means if you have 
less expensive gear that you can't perform just as good as someone with expensive gear. Just from my experience and my opinion, I think it's nice. I'm not saying you have to go super expensive, but having just decent gear that's like moderately priced is gonna get the job done a lot better compared to cheap gear in my opinion. From my, from my own experience, that's how I felt at least on the topic. So let's see what these all look like on me. And then I'll give you guys my overall thoughts on which one you should really take. So right now, this is the cheap jersey for 30 USD. You can see that it's not terrible, guys. Just right here, you can see the bagginess overall. Then again, I could get a smaller size, but like I said, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. But uh, nothing that I'd be super encouraged to ride in. There's some bagginess here, but it will get the job done. It is not terrible. I still think it looks decently presentable. Uh, it's not terrible. So I know I keep saying that, but it really isn't. It's not as bad as it may seem. So this is the moderately expensive jersey. It retails for around 100 USD. And one thing I can tell right off the bat is that the arm cuffs are a lot more tight, which is super nice in terms of comfort, but you still get some bagginess. Then again, I could say I could go for a smaller size, but all in all, a really nice jersey. I like the neck area. It feels a little bit more form-fitting, and that's the biggest difference I'm realizing right now in terms of the difference is form-fitting, and also in terms of the fabric. This just feels nicer on my skin. I know because I've ridden with all of them that this one's gonna wick away sweat better than that. That's, that does it the worst. Uh, then again, it's not terrible. Just it wicks away not as nice. So you can see right now, I'll do a spin. I uh, hit the tree by accident, but overall, really nice. I do like this jersey, and I think for 100 USD, I'd say it's the baseline standard that you would want in a cycling jersey. So all in all, I am a big fan of it. Now, the last and final jersey is the premium jersey, which retails for 229 USD. So super expensive, but right off the start, guys, my arms feel a lot better. This feels even more secure than the Sun Web jersey. We looked at the moderate jersey. In terms of the fit, the material, it is so nice. Premium, 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 premium. It is so nice. And that's the thing, guys. I will be sharing my opinions on who should be buying this jersey, but I will do a full spin of how I look in it. It looks really presentable. I think it looks really stealthy, like a ninja. Um, and just overall, I like the back cuffing. It's gonna hold uh, the jersey really nice to my bibs. But all in all, a really big fan of this jersey. Now I'll be sharing my opinion on which jersey I suggest for what type of rider. So let's get into that right now. So I will be cutting this off today and actually riding in this jersey. Uh, so if you guys do want to see any pictures of me with this jersey on, follow me on Instagram and Strava. Lots of content in terms of my riding on that, so feel free to do that. Now in terms of my opinion on which jersey you should get, depending on what type of cyclist you are, this is my thoughts. So we're going to start off with the cheap jersey. Uh, I suggest the cheap jersey for anyone that's not going to do a lot of cycling in terms of more than 100, 150 kilometers in a week. Uh, at that point, if you're doing short rides, let's say 20 kilometer rides, 25 kilometer rides, a cheap jersey is going to be more than enough. Now, I want you guys to remember this and keep this at the forefront when making informed purchases is that the only time you really see an improvement in terms of uh, equipment is when you start riding more. So if you ride more, there's going to be little nuances that you pick up on more because you're experiencing the bike and just overall riding more. So, you know, this goes for everything, bikes, uh, shoes. Then again, there's a, there's a price point where it kind of cuts off and the return on the investment just, you know, is so uh, marginal. It's just not important. But, you know, for this stuff, especially stuff that you feel, uh, it makes a big difference. So in terms of jerseys, I'd say the cheap jersey for anyone that's doing it less than 150 kilometers a week, short rides, short 20 kilometer rides, that's basically 40 minutes, nothing super long. That's why I suggest the cheap jersey. Now the moderate jersey I would say is for anyone that's doing 300 kilometers a week, even that's a lot. So I'd say 200 to 300 kilometers a week. Uh, that's what the moderate jersey is going to get the job done a lot better in terms of how it feels. So you'll feel a little bit better. It'll perform a little bit better in terms of the wind and all that stuff. Uh, it will hold up really nice, but if you're not doing anything super long, more than 70, 80 kilometers at a time, you know, you won't get the full uh, added performance that you would get in terms of value if you got the expensive one and you're doing only 70 kilometers rides. I would say it's marginal in terms of the overall uh, performance that, you know, in a premium jersey gives. So this one is more than enough. So remember, anything less than, I would say, 70, 80 kilometers, you'll be more than fine on a moderately priced jersey. And now the premium jersey... Who is it for? I would say it's for anyone that's doing above 100 kilometer rides. And I don't mean just once a month, I mean often. So for me, I usually like to do at least 100 kilometers, uh, you know, two, three times a week if possible. Then it, it all depends on my training. So sometimes, you know, I might do a 70 kilometer ride, but since it has intensity, that's equivalent to just a normal endurance uh, 100 kilometer ride. So it all depends. But in terms of just the riding that I do, I'm riding anywhere between 500 to 600 kilometers a week. So having very nice 
uh, jerseys uh, make it super important. Then again, this is my only expensive jersey that I actually have. This is my first ever premium jersey in over four to five years of cycling. So, you know, it took me some time to make the investment, but I really do like it and I'm super excited to start using it, especially with the weather being so nice here. So I hope you guys did enjoy the comparison between the jerseys. If you guys did, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, if you guys want to see what I wear and just my overall equipment, follow me on Instagram and Strava. I do post often all that. Links in the description below and comment any other suggestions that you have in terms of equipment that I use or any equipment comparisons that you'd like me to make. I would love to make it and love hearing from you guys. So feel free to do that. And until the next one, keep on pedaling.